Russia will launch an Iranian remote sensing satellite into orbit next Tuesday, the two countries confirmed, two weeks after President Vladimir Putin visited Tehran. In cooperation with Russia, the KM satellite will be launched next week from the Baikonur space station in Kazakhstan by a Soyuz satellite carrier, the Iranian space agency said late Wednesday. The satellite, apparently named after 11th to 12th century Persian polymath Omar Khayyam, aims to monitor the country's borders, enhance agricultural productivity and monitor water resources and natural disasters, the agency added. Russia's state space corporation Roscosmos confirmed the launch is scheduled for Tuesday. On August 9, 2022, a Soyuz 2.1B rocket is scheduled to be launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome to put the KM remote sensing device ordered by the Islamic Republic of Iran into orbit, it said in a statement. The KM device was designed and manufactured at enterprises that are part of the state corporation Roscosmos, it added. News of the launch follows Putin's visit to Iran on July 19, when he met President Ebrahim Raisi and Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Iran's state news agency Irina said the satellite has high imaging accuracy and can film the Earth's surface in different image spectra. Russia is putting the satellite into space, but it will be guided and controlled from ground stations in Iran, Irina added. Iran insists its space program is for civilian and defense purposes only and does not breach the 2015 nuclear deal between Iran and world powers or any other international agreement. Western governments worry that satellite launch systems incorporate technologies interchangeable with those used in ballistic missiles capable of delivering a nuclear warhead, which Iran always denied wanting to build. Iran successfully put its first military satellite into orbit in April 2020, drawing a sharp rebuke from the United States. In March, the Revolutionary Guards, the ideological arm of Iran's armed forces, announced it had successfully put a military reconnaissance satellite, Mauer 2, into orbit. Iran has tested its Zuljana satellite launcher for a second time for research purposes, according to state media. Iranian media on Sunday quoted a defense ministry spokesman as saying the satellite vehicle was launched with a suborbital target and that data gathered from the launch would inform a third planned launch. State television aired footage of the launch, which appeared to proceed without trouble, but there was no confirmation whether it was successful. The launch comes after weeks of speculation as satellite images had appeared to show that Iran was preparing for a launch at the Imam Khomeini spaceport in the province of Semnan. Several Iranian aerospace specialists have died in mysterious circumstances in recent weeks. It is unclear if there is any connection. The Iranian Defense Ministry, in charge of the Zuljana launch, said one of them, 33-year-old Mohammad Abdus, was its employee, and he died while on mission in Semnan, without elaborating further. Iranian officials had not made any comments before the launch. There was no confirmation on when the launch took place. The latest launch of Zuljana, which is named after the horse of the third imam in Shia Islam, Imam Hussein, comes months after the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, successfully put a second military satellite, called the Nur-2, into orbit in March. At the time, the elite forces said Nur-2 is orbiting at an altitude of 500 kilometers, 311 miles. Iran launched its first military satellite, the newer, meaning light, in an orbit 425 kilometers, 265 miles, above the Earth's surface in 2020. The United States has previously expressed concern over Iran's satellite program, saying the same long-range ballistic technology used to put satellites into orbit could also be used by Tehran to launch long-range weapons, possibly even a nuclear warhead. 
Iran, however, has consistently rejected such warnings. It maintains that its nuclear program is strictly peaceful. The news of the launch comes a day after the European Union's top foreign policy official, Joseph Borrell, on a trip to Tehran, agreed with Iranian officials to restart talks with the US to restore Iran's 2015 nuclear deal with the world powers. If successful, the talks can lift most of the harsh sanctions that the US has imposed on Iran since 2018, when Washington unilaterally abandoned the accord.